Well, we're down here at a buddy of mine's junkyard here. Got a few old Mopars, and I talked him out of a 1990 Ram Charger. So I think they brought it back here around 2014. Last plate was 2013. And we're going to see if we can get it running good again. We put a battery in it, and it did pop off uh, and idle for a couple seconds. But it was down in the ground here. Put some air in the tires. We're going to try to get it up and running and make a daily out of it overall it's in pretty good shape uh looks like 136,000 miles on it but he said he was starting having computer problems with it it's a 90 so it'd be throttle body injection so we're gonna get it out of here see if we can't make a nice daily out of it but we're gonna hook up the tractor real quick and drag it out of here here we go bring it up to the shop Load it on the trailer, bring it home. That thing was pretty far back in the tree line. They said it's been down there about 10 years, so. Well, the old late end did its job and got it out of here. You could say I got a small dodge problem, but overall she's not too bad. A little rust in the lower front quarters, but. Alright, here we are again with the Ram Charger. Uh, it was about 95 degrees today, so after we got pulled up here, I went home until it cooled off a bit. Um, like I said before, we did get it popped off earlier, just a little bit of gas down to the throttle body. Just hear it pop off, we didn't have it actually running. So what I'm going to try to do now, which is really dumb, is just put some gas in it, make sure it's got oil and fluids, and I'm going to try to drive it home about 10 miles, and hopefully we make it. But, we'll see. Pop this up again. I plan on changing oil and stuff like that when we get home or when I start working on it. But if this oil is good enough to get home, we're just going to run it. So. It is full. It's black as night, but it's full. So, should be good enough to get home. I'm going to throw some gas in this thing, see if we can get it run longer than two seconds. And uh, fire it up and get it out of here, hopefully, before it gets completely dark. No idea if the headlights work, the taillights work. We're kind of in this together at this point, so. It's kind of crazy to pull dailies out of the field, but... Turn the key, see if any of that can get to the front here. I'm going to cycle the key a couple times because it is fuel injected, so I'm hoping I can get some fuel up front.
piece of fuel down the throttle body. See if we can get it to come to life. If nothing else, it'll catch fire. That would be bad. Ooh, little gas. <laughs> little, little for some, a lot for others. put itself out. There's a little mouse house in there. <laughs> that just cleanses it, you see? So we're gonna fire it again. See what happens. bad gas in it too, but it's trying, but Top of the air thing back on just in case it does keep flames. Yeah, Try to keep it containing the best of things. I'm wondering if maybe timing change order or something, a little timing off. Maybe it's not actually computer problem. Again, I've had it on for a couple seconds.
see, if it doesn't start the first time, you light it on fire, and you try about 30 more times, but eventually it will fix itself. Alright, so, we're going to check headlights and taillights. We're going to hit the road that fast. I don't even know if the transmission works. So. Headlights work. Go ahead and look here. I think she's idling like a dream. Alright, let's check the taillights. quite DOT legal, but we're going to give her a shot anyway. So, I'm going to put the rest of this gas in. We're going to try to drive it home. Sounds good though. Not smoking bad. Alright. Alright, so, I didn't even try the brakes yet, but my friend said the brakes work. They feel alright. I don't even know if the transmission works. Oh, there's reverse. And there's drive. Oh, well, let's try that again. Let's give her some RPMs. Well, she's moving. Well, it may go. Maybe a trailer is a better idea. I'm on the road in 10 years and I made it about two feet. shut her down and let her cool for a minute not so good of luck but hopefully we can let it cool off and get the rest of the way home lump it home well the gauge wasn't reading hot i was watching it but it says hot now and obviously it's hot so i don't know if the thermostat stuck or what the situation currently is let's see here Oh, the upper radiator hose blew. That would be the problem. So, good news is I got a nice steam cleaning for my uh, engine. I make a lot of jokes, but this sucks. So, <laughs> we're going to have to see, uh, let it cool off a few minutes, and I think I'm going to... See if we'll drive the rest of the way home. It's only like another mile. But I hate to ruin this engine with it getting hot. So.
So we may end up having to uh, admit defeat here and uh, tow it home with my wife's Chevy Suburban, which makes me want to gag. Uh, but well, let me give a couple minutes here and we'll see what happens. All right, so this is far from ideal, but again, I'm about a mile from home. This thing fired back up. I let it sit for about a half hour. Now it's really almost dark. And uh, I'm just gonna try to get this last mile done here. We'll see if she makes it. Well, this, ladies and gentlemen, looks like defeat. So, it just got, I mean, it only made about another quarter mile. It's pretty warm. Like I said, I don't want to ruin this engine, so I'm just going to go home, get the other Suburban, and we're going to drag her home. Well, there it is, still with the flashers on. Pretty sad when I had to have the wife pull me out with her Suburban. The feet does not feel good, gentlemen. We'll hook up to it, and we'll drag her home. All right, well, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and have my wife tuck me the rest of the way home. She's a little bummed out that she has to uh, get her posh mom mobile on the gravel, but to haul my junk home. But she uh, she makes a lot of sacrifice for me, puts up with my car addiction, so I'm very thankful for that. But she's gonna drag me home. Uh, we're gonna lick my wounds, and uh, we'll go from there. We got a drug home. It was eventful. Got it to fire. Then it caught fire. Then the radiator hose blew up. Tried to drive another mile. I literally got about a half mile, maybe three quarter mile from home. My beautiful wife bailed me out with her posh suburban. And uh, we're here. Now I did do this video basically for some entertainment. I know it needs a lot of work before I can actually drive it every day. I'm gonna go through, clean the radiator out, thermostat, do all the upgrades, so on and so forth. Uh, but I hope you were entertained. Hope I didn't look like too much of an idiot. I know what I'm doing. I'm just actually seeing if it'd make it. So now we actually got to make it run. So uh, stay tuned, watch the videos, like, subscribe. And uh, next thing we're going to do is clean this thing up, give her a tune up, and then we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. See you next time.